Hey everybody, Beck of here making my five minutes or less dirty and quick awarding guide. Um, this is not an in-depth guide. This is a try to get your base understanding of warding down and build off of it from there. So warding has been something that I've really been focusing on on stream and off stream. Um, just trying to make sure that I'm aware of what's going on on the map and that I um, basically can control everything that I can. Um, so real quick, make sure to follow my Twitch. The link will be in the description below. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to go check that out and let's hop right into it. So early game warding, super important. Um, the most important ward I think you can honestly get for the trajectory of the game would be a pixel brush ward around two minutes and 20 seconds. So around two minutes, 20, the um, excuse my poor mouse writing but around two minutes 20 you need to get a ward in the pixel brush depending on where your jungler is going so if you're on the blue side your jungler starts red like they normally will they'll path here right and then they're going to contest this scuttle this scuttle is the most contested one early because most people start bot side so they can get a leash and go there really important no matter who you're playing to try to get as much roam time as possible i know sometimes it's hard depending on the champion but get as much roam time as possible walk over and drop a ward in the pixel brush to help your jungler out really really important and then for the rest of the lane phase not depending on the time, just for the rest of the lane phase, lane phase, however long that is, you want to ward the side that is winning, okay? So if your bot lane's winning, great. Ward on the bot side. If your top laner is winning, ward on the top side. So if your bot lane is getting smashed, right, you know you're not going to have a whole lot of dragon control. So you got to try to get Rift Heralds and try to deny the jungler on the top side, vice versa. If your bot lane is winning and your top laner is getting smashed, you can kind of assume that your top that their top lane is going to be going for Rift Heralds and trying to get pressure that way. So the better play would be to try to contest dragons. Have, hopefully your bot lane rotates up and you guys can get really, really good dragon control. Now for the mid game. Mid game, you're, there's going to be towers going down um, on your side and on their side. And so for those who don't know, at the start of the game, the map is split down in the river, right? But as towers get taken down, let's say you're on blue side and you guys have all three tier one towers, you have to start advancing your vision to go with that. Because if you're, you know, if you're Twisted Fate, right, and you're auto attacking this tower, there is so many angles that you can get ganked from. You need to start advancing your vision. So um, the just so you guys know, the orange circles are either control wards or uh regular wards the red ones are typically i reserve for control wards and then the yellow ones i usually just use for trinkets so typically um if i'm on the blue side right and my, my this tower is gone i'll drop a ward here so i know i'm safe this way and i'll drop a ward here so i know that i can't get ganked from this way um, really really important to also know where the enemies are make sure you see them everywhere i'm um, obviously you're not going to always see the jungler but just try to be aware of where all your enemies are so that way you're not getting ganked if you're trying to draw uh, pressure on this tower really really important and vice versa if you're on the red side obviously if you're up here try to get a ward here and maybe drop a ward here and that way you know you're safe getting ganked and, and that way you know you're safe um, auto tagging this tower and trying to get damage on it or trying to take it now Late game wards, um, I'm talking Elder Dragons, Barons, really, really important. Um, again, depending on the side that you're on, if you're on blue side, I'll drop a ward here usually so you can see if they try to bounce over and get vision that way. Or if you're on the red side, dropping a ward here is really good so you can see this whole pathway. Or dropping a ward here is really good as well so you can see this, this pathway, super, super important. Um, and for Barons, dropping a ward here is good so you can see this whole um, canal here and then vice versa if you're on the red side and dropping ward here is really good and dropping ward here is really good so you can see where they're coming from or if they're coming sometimes you can just sneak a baron and they won't even know super super important so sorry i've been talking really fast i'm trying to make this video in under five minutes so to recap everything basically make sure you're getting vision where you know that you're going to be playing towards that's the most important thing for all phases of the game if you know that the top side is your um, general control, get vision there, deny vision there, super important as well, and just try to do whatever you can to get control here. Same thing if your bot lane is smashing and you know they're pushing towers and stuff like that, um, make sure to get vision here so you can get drag control. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it's a little bit messy. If you have to watch it a few times, I completely understand that. So I hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, so make sure to subscribe and like the video. Thanks, guys. Something that haunts me all night I've been staying up hours until the sun rises. Just so casual, always living the same life